Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It's Monday, June 2nd. St uh, still, we're doing Funday Monday Part 2. We're feeling good. I don't know if anyone's having themselves a great Monday. I'm a little tired and a little, a little sleepy from the After Hours Gaming League Finals that occurred this Saturday at Red Bull Studios in Sony San... Or not Sony Santa Monica. Sony Santa Monica is just a different studio. Uh, Red Bull Studios in Santa Monica, and that was a lot of fun. Of course, it was not without its own little stresses. I, uh, you know, here's here's the thing. I want to throw this out there about event planning. No matter what you do when you're planning for an event, no matter how many fail safes you have, something's gonna go wrong, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Here's an example of something that went wrong at an event that I was attending. Uh, a player took a totally legit break. He was in the middle of a series, and after a certain number of games are allowed, like a 5-10 minute break, he went outside to smoke, and he walked out a one-way door and couldn't get back into the building. What are you going to do? It's just, that's just, the, that's just what's going to happen. That's just something that's going to occur. So we were doing the League of Legends, like first uh, first game, and the spectator computer just just cut out. Just wasn't working. And Riot, bless their hearts, were just like running around, like calling the office, like resetting stuff to see if we could like reconnect and get back in. Meanwhile, everyone's like playing game one, and they've already like taken the tower down and gotten first blood. So we're like, uh. I don't know. I don't know what to do because we're like we uh, the riot actually provided tournament servers for the, the the teams to play on. So when it we couldn't reconnect, we had no way to watch the game. So they put a camera filming a monitor, and that's just what we had to do. That's the way it happened. That's how it went down. And I'm like watching it, and I didn't notice at first what was going on. I was trying to just, I'm trying to stay, like, uninvolved at this point, because I gotta go on, I gotta do an on-camera thing, hello, great to be here, so I can't be just, like, losing my mind. So I'm watching the game, and I'm like, it looks a little tinted in the corner, hmm. And then I realized it was a, it was filming of a monitor. But we managed to get through that, but we had to re-download all sorts of other stuff, or we had to re-download the basic client, uh, as opposed to the tournament client. So that's when you saw the the old footage from last year run as filler, because you always got to bring filler content when shit goes wrong. So we're sitting there, we're trying to download, we're trying to download like the League of Legends like uh, uh, other clients, even though we had the special setup. We have to go back to the other one because our spectator computer was just going kaput for a reason. It was going great no matter what, but of course when it's event day, it's gonna go wrong. So we're sitting there downloading, and I'm like watching the length of time we have on this filler video and the length of time on the download, and they're like tied. They're like, they're like dead even. This is the race between the tortoise and the tortoise, and they're both slow and steady, and I'm like, oh my god, fuck, we need the right tortoise to finish first. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, all right, all right, that's fine, whatever. So I just like go to the open bar and I'm like, you know what, I just like a shot of whiskey. And the guy's like, sir, we don't open till 1 p.m. And I look at my watch and it's like 11.53 and I'm like, <gasps> and then I turn around and I'm like, oh my God, Anker, hi. Anker's my boss at Artillery. Hey, so great to see, who'd have thought you'd be here? Ha 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 ha. Oh man. And so, and so they like finished, the like download like barely finishes, uh, we have a little bit of time left, and the, the League of Legends casters were the most amazing fillers. Like, we just looked and we're like, no, nothing's gonna happen, everything's gone, it's just the, we don't have a game for you to cast right now, a lot of this, a lot of this, and they were like, no, oh, yeah, sure, and they filled like an hour and a half talking about like hero designs, oh, it was like legendary legendary that's so that's the standard life of event where everything's gonna go wrong and the only way that you ever get saved is with good people 
And then, uh, and then Mike Morheim arrived with a whole bunch of cupcakes, and I ate the first fucking cupcake. Should I be ashamed? Is that wrong? Is that wrong of me to do? They laid out all the cupcakes beautifully on a table with like little StarCraft uh, race stickers hanging out of them, little flags. And everyone's like taking photos, and I just went up and I just like grabbed one, like it was one of those tentacle monsters in War of the Worlds, just like, just like eating it, man. <laughs> like I'm gonna colonize Cupcake Land into a breathable atmosphere for myself. Oh my god, talk about boss. But yes, uh, I think I think the moral of the story is. Uh, always eat cupcakes under all circumstances. Then there was that wonderful sequence where they, where Roddy was on break and just tried to eat a cupcake, and they switched the camera to him, and he was like, <gasps> like right at the most embarrassing moment. Oh, it was really golden. Uh, oh, but oh, uh, uh, speaking of artillery, we released an update. We released an update of what we've been up to. So if you want to go to my Twitter or if you go to blog.artillery.com, we can tell you about the RTS we've been working on. Super cool. Maybe I'll talk about that later in Funday Monday. But the important thing is that it's time to dick around. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that, that doesn't quite sound exactly War of the Worlds y. That sounds like a mix between the War of the Worlds people and the, uh, the Godzilla noise. The one that they play in the trailers at the end. That... So good. I love Godzilla, by the way. Godzilla vomits till someone's head falls off. So good. So excellent. Up in the top left corma, corner from Cuba, we have Magdiel. The most unintimidating angel. And in the bottom right hand corner we have Listel Yellow One. Perhaps a celebration of Jello One. Piling at the front from Yellow One, he knows he's not gonna be going stalker in this PvP as stalkers shoot up thereby violating. Fun day Monday challenge. Now Magdiel is exactly what you'd expect. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated to the cannon rush. Dedicated to the cannon rush. Magdiel looks like the guy who was supposed to have set out the minefield last night. And now he's running in front of his enemies, throwing mines at their feet, hoping they'll step on it. Looks like Yellow One has managed to successfully keep himself alive, but not without keeping his front protected. <laughs> I sound just like it. <laughs> and now it looks like Magdiel is doing double the power, double the fun. Double mint, double mint, gum. Moving right on in, yellow one. Will he see it? Will it blend? Oh, the true reveal go doth goeth down. We got some assimilators coming up. Get there, Magdiel. Running every which way. Yellow one. Can't build any zealots. He's got to commit to defending this cannon rush first. Kind of. He can totally build a zealot, but he's just electing not to. Magdiel is continuing to build cannons. Excellent. Another can- nope. In the Unis Lost tab, we see six units have been lost by Magdiel. But he's got a big opportunity ahead of him. Because he's up against someone who's going to be building none of the important, threatening core units in this matchup. Magdiel is also getting critical scout information with these pylons. Look at everything that they're seeing. Oh my god. This is like whenever I'm trying to clean out my room and someone's like, Sean, do you wanna do you wanna throw this one away? Do you want maybe you wanna toss this out or sell it for money? And I'm like, no, no, I think I'll need that half of a lampshade someday. No, I like to keep my jar lids. 
I don't know, sometimes I might find a jar and I need a top on it and I got the lid handy. I'm not a hoarder. I am not a hoarder. If it's a cord, it goes into the cord box. I have a box for that. Now Magdiel is sending out an entourage of probes. The probes of decisive action. These probes, though not necessarily being involved in the cannon rush, are going to be involved in the cannon contain. Mmm. Zealot's moving up. Ooh, getting ready to do some good. Now Magdiel's walling himself in. You see, that? that's the mind of a man who's got a plan. Double gate. Each one's building a Zealot. That's exactly what I wanted, totally. I'm going to build one Zealot out of each of my one gateways, and I'm happy that I have invested in the whole gateway. And now I think you understand why I find purchasing DVDs to be silly. Netflix! Netflix! I just want to have it on a shelf. I'm thinking a lot about the permanence and impermanence of objects lately as I am... Let's see, I'm in 22 days I will no longer live in this room. Oh, skills. Oh my god. He's owned two DVDs to a bad movie. The original bad movie and the sequel, but he found redeeming qualities in the second one. Uh, no, I like to watch it with my friends. I just, they need a lot of commentary. And they just need to have a really strong suspension of disbelief. No, I think that Sharknado 2 is definitely going to be worth the investment. Alright, we see Magdale. He's got a probe in position. He's getting ready to take bases. I I allege. In the meantime, Yellow One has a, just an intriguing base structure. Getting up his own cannons. I mean, what else is he going to use to defend against oracles? You have to get that anti-air defense big. Mmm. Getting himself up his stargate. Boom. Oracle, go. Oh, another Oracle. But look at this pro mag deal. The probes that were sent up early, where's this one going to? Perhaps to the wash... Oh, that's it. A sneaky little expansion. Let's get those geysers up early. Oh, mag deal, the king of contain. Look at this. Look at this shiny little trio here. Oh, yeah, that's like when I lock my closet. Huh. Those coats aren't going to go anywhere, man. I'm really glad I invested in this closet lock. Magdeal building a pylon. What a persnickety pylon placement we're seeing. Now, Yellow One has his Oracle. Let's control shift F to find out what it's going to be up to. <laughs> As we're watching... The Oracle move in. It looks like the discussion about whether or not owning DVDs has value is rampaging in chat. And here it goes. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Oh, he's going to get seven. Nine. Ah. Ah. There's something I always found interesting about ah. Is that like if you... This is ah. This is ah! And this is like ah! And the important aspect is actually the H. If you just type this, it looks like there's a cat standing on your keyboard indifferently. Like, yes, human, I know what the button does. Where is pets? But this, I, I don't, I can't imagine anything but a fat baby whenever I see that. Just a fat baby trying to manipulate that mother into doing something that the mother doesn't actually need to do for the baby's well-being. Hey, Mom! Mom! Ah! 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 It's the most neutral of screams. Ah! No, it's not even like a happy, like, ah! Just, ah! It's just a noise. It's like the most basic letter. They just make sure that noise work when they check Siri out on the iPhone. 
hey Siri, ah, and she was like, ba -da -doo -da, ah, and now we got robots. <laughs> what an interesting conclusion I drew. <laughs> now we got robots, period. And then he went back to the game because he was done. There really needs to be some, some something like a capital period, like a sort of something deeper than a period. Um, I guess it might be a, just a new paragraph is what that is. The paragraph's done now. <laughs> or maybe we should make it even stronger. <laughs> it's just like, ah, now we have robots. Chapter 3. <laughs> we just keep going. It's a real cliffhanger. There's robots? I don't know. Wow. Sean's right up there with George R. R. Martin. No spoilers, by the way. I was about to make a George R. R. Martin joke, and I was like, oh my god, there's a 30 second chat delay. If I get into that joke and glance back, and someone says just something appalling like Ares dies, I'm gonna be like, no! No, 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 no! Trumpet, you have permission to ban permanently anyone who gives spoilers. I don't care if a subscriber, you tell them to watch something else. Don't watch my shit if you're gonna spoil. What's going on in this game? Look, Yellow One is going three, three, four, four forge. He's going for four forges. And many a gate. Because when you have four geysers and you can build nothing that shoots the skies, what need ye do? With ye gas, you can get four forges. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you should visit me at myspace.com slash Vader is Luke's dad. <laughs> there's, there's the one guy. There's one person in here who's watched just the first two Star Wars movies who's just like, Oh my god, you monster. You m Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Remember, you permanently ban him, Trumpet. And then you send him a message on Twitch and say, I'm glad you're dead. I hope George R. R. Martin writes you in, into his next book so you die unfairly. So you have a dream, and then you get beaten until one day you wake up as a cockroach, and someone eats you in a show on the Travel Channel. I hope that happens to you. If it was Bear Gorillas, that would be an honor, but no one watches Bugs get eaten on the Travel Channel. A true damnation. Sincerely, I hope that happens. I hope George R. R. Martin writes you into his next book and has a sequence where you wake up in the middle of the night and because you're bored you decide to watch a movie on Netflix and you pick the first recommendation and it's bad! George. 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 Jesus, George. Oh my god. George. I hope George R. R. Martin puts you in his next book and you get on an airplane and your shoelaces are tied a little too tight and you can't tell if it's because it's really cold in the airplane or if there's no circulation going to your foot. And when you land, you find out there was not enough circulation going to your foot. And you're like, ah, that feels weird. Shithead. <laughs> Threw that at the end. Ugh. Boom. God, I hope that happens to you. And then you trip over a rusty bucket and you get eaten by a tree monster. Or maybe if it was George R. R. Martin, it would be like, Well, you got on the airplane and your foot felt cold. And then a woman in red was like, uh, Excuse me, sir, would you like Chardonnay or leeches? Oh. Mm, I know how to get back at people. I am a vengeful god. Yellow One's eye key is working just fine. Just fine. We got we got three of the four forges working. We got this lazy forge who's like, come on, man, I don't have anything to do, man. I'll do whatever you tell Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this forge is this can this forge stop it? Well, it looks like there's nothing too noteworthy yet. Is Mag Magdiel. Madge DL. Yellow one. Finds no way out. 
<laughs> Trumpet just messaged me on Skype and he says like, Are you testing me? Don't worry, I'm not like Glenn Close and Damages, where I actually do want you to ban people, but I'm gonna act like I don't. And if you fail it, I won't make you a partner in my law firm. <laughs> What's her name, Patty? Patty Pinkasconi? I don't remember her name. I watched season one, I just got really stressed out. In other words, Yellow One is just having... He, he's contracted super dead-itis. We have a magical man named Magdiel who cannon rushes into two gate, two zealot rushes into getting hit by Oracle, ah, and then hides an expansion, hides Void Rays, and then goes, da, 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 da. I imagine Magdiel as a runaway ventriloquist uh, doll that doesn't really have an articulable jawline. So whenever he's happy, the only thing he can do is be like, da, 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 da. Poor Magdale. Misses the guiding fist in him. Oh, recalls back. Hi. Yeah, da 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 da. But Yellow One has immortals, and immortals never die. Yellow one moving out. With he is getting three three and he is two two two. All right, yellow one. He's got a ring of cannons. He's getting another robo up. He's getting another cybernetic core up. The mortals will never die. Oh, Zealot's moving out. Zealot's moving up. Very difficult to face Void Rays with an only Zealot Immortal army. But Yellow One is the bold one who's, who's want to do it today. Immortal... Oh, how fast are Void Rays? 2.25? Are the same speed as Immortals? Is that right? I guess so. In the army, we see the Zealots at the top side. Oh, I like it. With but a single nexus at the north end of the map, and an insufficient amount of cannons. Poor yellow one. This is like the 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 Wes or the John Carpenter or whatever his name is. It's the vampire movie where they hold up a cross and the vampire just swats it aside. And the person's like, "Oh my god, oh my god," and the vampire says something wry about how we are not the vampires from storybooks. Cannons are allegedly a defensive structure. They are no such thing today. Let me just showcase this in normal speed. Look at how fast that dies. <laughs> Yellow one. Running across. You can't build units that shoot up. You gotta rely on cannons. <sighs> Kill the probe. Kill the probe. We have to base race. We have to base race! Oh, uh, oh, uh, Hodor. Alright, yellow one is microwing his lazy ground units. Pylons going down, everything going down. Zealots running up. Zealots have located the juicy expansion of MagDL. MagDL. Uh-oh. Magdiel's been revealed. And there's always that funny moment when the reveal happens. And Yellow One realizes... <laughs> ah, da, da. Ah, da, 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 da. Yellow One has to cope with this. He has to figure out what was going on in the mind of Magdiel. He has to parse what he's seeing. He has to come to accept and embrace the fact that a pod of hidden stargates at the right side of the map has been producing not four void rays at a time, because he's only ever been on two bases. Some bases are falling, though. Maybe 
Magdiel needs to build more Void Rays. Another Cybernetics Core going up. Yellow one actually has six gateways, but I think only one is powered. Yep, yeah, only one. Just the one. Everything here is in the dark. Starring in the hit television show Revolution. And meanwhile, the rest of Yellow One is rejecting the premise. In the unit count, we have a Zealot. Oh, he might be joined by a twin soon. Let's see if we can have one probe and 13 Void Rays go up against 29 probes and a Zealot. Oh, Houston, we got two Zealots. All right, Ikey continues to work very, very well for Yellow One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yellow one's building the pylons. And we have, at the regular game speed, the target fire of the day. <laughs> this is so fast. Down it goes. <laughs> oh, 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 where are the three? Where are the three zealots? Where are the three zealots getting morphed in? Where are my zealots at? There they are. Found them. Oh, that stinkers. 54 seconds. Come on. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Things are really, really looking hard for Yellow One right now. Come on. This is just... This stings in, in places. There are, there are holes puckering right now. There we go. Okay. Now he's darted down the ramp. Madiel needs to answer. But... He is someone who doesn't hit 1A even. He just hits F2. And whatever happens from then on out isn't his responsibility. He didn't invent the button. He just pushes it. Yellow 1 now being revealed. 1600 in the bank. A pack of probes by a pack of cannons that seem to continue to be irrelevant as the game continues on. A pair of zealots. A trio of zealots. Uh-oh. More zealots, get more. Oh, yellow one has located an area away from the cannons. And what will he do? Zealots joining together, fighting together. Oh, a pylon pod. Pylon pod's been located. Yellow one joins together. It joins together. And kills off everything. Uh. Yellow one still knows. He remembers. He remembers the pylons of yore. Magdiel charges up the void rays because sometimes you just need more buttons to press. F2 just isn't going to cut it. Moving every which way. They hunt for bases. They hunt for Nexi. They hunt for Nexi. Will the win condition be found? Kuba. Da 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 da. Zealots running, Zealots waning, Zealots dying. Ja 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 And doesn't quite fall as fast as a void ray, but uh ah. <laughs> He doesn't... I don't know. I don't know what that means. But I think it is simply a noise made before a living thing is about to die. Magdiel. Bah! Gone. And he was removed from the face of the earth. Like a black-headed facial. Part three, coming back.